Yeah, right after saying that, as you can see, <laughs> damn near flooded. The cyber truck did good though, cyber truck did good. Here, right through the window. What that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. No way. Look at this, guys. Whole tree fell. Did it hit the house? Uh, you see, I already knew coming towards Waterfront Park, it'll be a lot crazier over here. Yeah. All right, so it's the very next day from Hurricane Milton hitting Orlando, Florida. I'm in South Claremont right now. We're gonna go take a look at downtown Claremont visit a few new construction communities because I know a lot of you guys that watch these videos were probably looking online to see the aftermath of this actual storm. So we're gonna go downtown Claremont, downtown Orlando, Mineola, and I'm actually gonna start off by visiting my clients' homes that I've sold to them, but they still don't live here yet. So I just wanna make sure everything's okay with them. If you guys know where the sanctuary is by KB Homes, I live like three minutes from there. And let's just say I got lucky this time around with the storm. So I parked my car here in my neighbor's driveway and literally nothing happened to it thankfully but this tree flew basically from here right through the window I don't know how on God's green earth it missed my car but thank God Lexi is good Lexi is smooth let's get started with visiting my clients homes and see what the damage is all right, so like I said, the first stop is gonna be the sanctuary. We're about to make this next right to see how they did during this storm. Again, I was in South Claremont. I, this is where I live. I, I didn't lose power. I know a lot of bad, bad things happen in, you know, Port St. Lucie, Tampa side, all types of things like that. I have a lot of friends, family that are over there. Again, make sure you comment below prayers and wishing that everybody's okay. Um, this is a good sign. I don't see any flooding on the side here where this retention pond is, that's good. I really don't expect to see too, too much craziness in South Claremont, but I definitely think once I get towards downtown Claremont side, things like that, and I'll make sure to put chapters here. So if you wanna visit downtown Claremont side, you can kind of just uh, scroll or, or fast forward the video and it should say at the bottom, pretty much where I'm gonna be at. But um, yeah, comment down below too, how you guys held up during the storm. I pretty much just sealed all of the entrances, like my back door, sliding doors, the front, sandbags, garbage bags, everything. This doesn't look crazy here. It does not look crazy at all here. We are in pretty good shape. It looks like the sanctuary is in pretty good shape. So, Harold, I think you bought a house in a good community. I'm gonna be real. If you're watching this video, E, um, yeah, man, I think I think you did good. Claremont, Claremont is the place to be during hurricanes, I guess. <laughs> they already got people biking and stuff. Not too crazy, though, not too crazy. So once again, it looks pretty on Oh, we got a broken light up there. See? Got a broken light here, they ain't swinging. <laughs> See, that's a little bit dangerous though, cause that's like electrical, so that thing. Yeah, we're approaching the construction site now. So if anything got tore up, I wanna see how these homes actually held up, the ones that are not fully built out yet. Mm. I don't see any broken fences or anything. That's a good sign. Everything looks pretty clean. Everything looks pretty, pretty, pretty together. That's the thing too though, even in South Claremont where I live, the elevation is still like 140 feet. So, I mean, you see it guys, you see it. There's a lot of sand and stuff, but you see it, this place is untouched. So if you ask me, anybody that's been on the fence as far as buying a house in South Claremont, maybe thinking, right, that because it's South Claremont, we'd be a little bit more susceptible to these hurricanes and storms and things like that. It's not the case. And I think we're gonna head to Waterfront Park after this, actually. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head over to Waterfront Park. Huh. And if anybody knows about that next storm that's coming up, drop some comments down below as to what's going on with that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. No way. Look at this, guys. No way. Jesus Christ. Whole tree fell. Did it hit the house? 
Uh, you see? You see? I already knew coming towards Waterfront Park, I already knew it would be a lot crazier over here. Help. So we're uh, so we're just about to get to downtown Claremont. Let's see how it's looking over here. Jeez Louise. It's looking a little crazy over here. Wow. See you guys. It's no joke when it comes to these things. Wow. So a majority of the damage was just literally falling debris. I'm gonna get out of the car just to show you guys real quick. For this to be all that's wrong, and we have restaurants over here. We have people that literally live <laughs> right on the water. So I was very fearful that these folks were not gonna be okay. And there goes the Salt Shack, that's my favorite restaurant. Yeah, just fallen trees, fallen trees, fallen trees, whole lot of fallen trees. I wonder how the dock is. It's not fun, <laughs> I guess, but I think once again, Claremont has proven itself, right? I think Claremont has proven itself once again, um, just showing, showing, showing that, um, being at a high elevation, especially in Florida, it's important. I wasn't even anticipating that it would be this bad. The last one wasn't as bad, but yeah. So the dock is okay. They just blocked all of this off. Trees, the restaurant looks okay. Actually, it doesn't. The restaurant actually does not look okay. See, it looks like all, all of their all of their outside seating. It looks like a tree fell down over there too. And that's one of my favorite restaurants. So that's kind of, that sucks. I doubt anybody was out here while it was happening, unless you're crazy. So yeah, I mean, it looks horrible. This is bad. The dock got mangled up. If you could see in the distance, the dock definitely got mangled up. But did it flood? I don't think so. I don't think that this flooded like that. All right, so that's downtown Claremont. Let's go check on the stores, because around this corner, they actually have a lot of mom and pop shops. And I am curious to see how they held up during the storm. So let's get back in the car. Let's keep it going, guys. All right, let's go. How did you guys hold up? <laughs> Power's off and the trees are all beat up. But Jesus Christ. It didn't like flood or overflow that dock, did it? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, nah. I just saw that. Jesus Christ. I looked, I saw the trees falling. So, yeah. and dude, God bless you guys though. Yeah. Happy to say you're good for. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking at. Remember, this is downtown Claremont, so. I was anticipating. I don't know what I was anticipating, actually. I, was, I know what I was hoping for. I was hoping for absolutely nothing, but. <laughs> I don't think life works like that sometimes. Looks like that definitely broke. Yo, they got my son running in the street. What's going on? Y'all see this? What's going on? Yo, they got my son running in the street. What is happening? What is going on? All right, we are now at the hills of Mineola. And if it lives up to its name, it should be fine here. Um, I sold a few homes here. So I'm anticipating and I'm pretty sure everybody's okay. All the houses here are fine. But of course, I'm swinging by myself just to make sure everybody's a-okay. We got a down stop sign and street sign there. That's first, we got a crooked. <laughs> Crooked uh, speed sign. Was it uh, yeah? Was it crazy here yesterday? Sorry. I said, was it crazy here yesterday with the hurricane? Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you guys lose power or anything? Did you just lose power? Yeah, for me. You really? Ah, oh, that sucks too. It's good though. I'm happy to see at least nothing is damaged, nothing crazy, you know. Yeah, I know people want to know. He lost power here. It seems to be 
I don't know if it's, I don't know if they got power back yet or not, but I know quite a few people in this neighborhood, so I'm just going to make my rounds, make sure everybody's okay, everybody's safe. Everything looks a-okay. Let me actually just get out of here, make sure. <sighs> looks pretty clear here. And I think we're gonna head to Kissimmee now. <laughs> All right, so we're making our way a little bit more south now. We're going towards where a majority of the tourist hotels are. Um, and that's somewhere in between like Kissimmee, Four Corners area. It's where all the hotels are, like Disney stuff, Marriott. Um, so if you were actually like coming here um, to buy a house, so let's just say you actually booked a flight over here, chances are, if you were looking to buy a house or just chill, be on vacation, like in Claremont side, you probably end up at one of these hotels. So I was like, let's go check out and see how they did. So that way you guys know. I'm gonna pop it up on the map again, right here, somewhere here. Um, but yeah, right after saying that, as you can see, <laughs> um, damn, they got flooded here. Fun fact, I was actually about to rent an apartment, uh, this complex right here. <laughs> And then this is where we are. This is just like the Google Map stuff. Um, I figured as much, you know, we're, we're kind of going towards, you know, Tampa side, kind of. We're just going south, I guess. Um, yeah, let's see. Honestly, off rip, like the weather just completely changed and I could tell it's a lot more dreary on this side. So I know for a fact, right by the water here, could probably see it good i know for a fact that um they got it way worse over here so whoa it's damn near flooded the cyber truck did good though cyber truck did good this is pretty scary yeah okay big big difference you're in north claremont mid claremont south claremont you're fine you step foot in Kissimmee side or wherever the hell we are right now, different story. Uh, see, and keep in mind, there's a lot of new construction over here too. There's a lot of, there's a lot of new communities here. They're pretty high end. I want to say they start at the five, six hundred thousand dollar mark. Um, but that's just not good to see that roads are like that. So we're pretty much going down this road. This is a really long road, and it's very fun. That's just a low windshield wiper fluid. I love this road because it's empty always, never traffic here. But this is the road you would take to get to uh, to the hotel. So we'll visit them each one by one and see what's going on. I'm not, I'm not gonna drive to Tampa. I'm not driving to even Lakeland or Winter Haven, but I know that those two places probably are underwater right now. I know Tampa completely got wrecked, so I don't really know. It's pretty calm here. This is the first hotel. This is one of the more popular ones, Homewood Suites and Homes to Go or something. Home, home to Suite or whatever. Um, I mean, everybody outside. <laughs> it doesn't look like the aftermath of a hurricane over here, besides that little patch. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below what city or state you're watching from. This is Brandon. I'm a realtor over in Orlando, Florida, and I hope you guys found value in this video. If you're, I do home tour videos of all the hottest new construction communities around Central Florida. So if that kind of content interests you, make sure you subscribe. I've been doing this for three years, and I'm licensed with Real Brokers. So thank you so, so much for watching, and take care. Bye.